what's up everybody so put up that fishing video got more fishing videos coming um out here with my buddy dave he comes up every single year um for fishing opener and we also try to find mushrooms every year we're out here in the what is it may what 12th 12th day after opener we're out here looking for uh morel mushrooms and it seems a little bit early you know which i mean it kind of is because there's not a lot of growth up yet, but we're actually finding a few mushrooms. Um, there's a few on the ground here. We'll uh, flip it around and let you take a look at them. All right, you can see the trees here. There's not a lot of growth going on, but we're on this, uh, it's like a north, north facing hill. Right there. A nice little morel. And over <laughs> right there is a morel and then this one over here i'm telling you what i spotted this one out of a miracle because my eyes aren't that good but if you're looking from this direction and you're looking and you're looking and you're looking some more and you look way in and we look at that look at that right there that guy that one hiding right there I don't know and when you when you pick these you don't want to you do not want to pull the roots out you want to you want to pinch them off or cut them off and usually you know what i like to do is after i pick them you know you're supposed to use a mesh bag or i, like, I even like to shake them a little bit in my hand a couple times before i put them in my bag that way you can get some of those poor those spores dropped in the ground so they can uh you know regrow next year it's a spot that uh we visit every single year we, and we just, I mean, we walked, we walked through here probably five minutes ago. We've been finding a few mushrooms, but, you know, unless your eye catches it, it's like you can, you can, you can step right over mushrooms over and over and over again. It's crazy. Anyway, here we go. We'll zoom in on this one over here. Old Dave picks it. There we go. Let's see here. That nice little guy. Ooh, gonna be some good eating. Huh. Well, we're gonna scan the terrain here a little bit more and try to find a few more for you guys. You see it, Dave? Is it right next to this <laughs> tree here on the side? <laughs> Looking just hard. It's so hard to see these things. Look at that. Right there. He's just right there. Ah, there's one right there. Just a wee fella. We'll maybe leave that guy grow and be picked another day it just goes to show how you know how elusive these things are and i mean they're so they're so good people would probably kill to have like a pound of these things and it looks i mean we're just trying to get enough so dave can make a nice meal or something you probably <clears throat> be nice if we can find some more but you think you got enough to be able to eat something well i'll just make a yeah i'll make a cream gravy with it this is actually plenty, but I'm getting I hungry. Would like more. <laughs> sure. All right, let's keep on looking. All right, we've been walking around, looking around, looking around. We actually found our very first one, like right in this area. So generally, where you find one, you almost always find more. So we just decided to walk back here, looking around, looking around, and they're so hard to to spot. I spotted this one, and you know, and Dave was, you know, Dave said, don't pick it yet. Let me look. And he couldn't find it. And he's right there. So it just goes, it go, I mean, it just goes to show how hard these things are to, to spot. You, you have to like train your eye and tell, oh, look at this, Dave, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. So I'm just going to pick this one. And I look over to my right. And there's another one right there. Oh, there's that, there's that devil's cup. Remember? So that other one was picked right back there. What the heck? That's crazy. And these are bigger ones too. That. Look at that beauty. What the heck, man. And there's the other one. Both really nice morels here. Oh yeah. Yep. Put these in here. Here go Dave just spotted one right here. I'll let him... I have the honor of picking it. But I'll move 
weeds here. Oh, look at this. We'll leave oh, that yeah. one. We'll leave that one, but uh, okay. Look at that. There's one popping through. Yeah, there's another one. I'm gonna get a little picture of this guy. Okay, let me take this. Awesome. Some more for the bag. All right, found the last ones over there by Dave. Just walking. I gotta, I gotta scan the terrain here. I don't. I'm not even sure what kind of trees these are. This undergrowth is exactly, but it seems you know when I whenever I find them, this is the ideal undergrowth. Are these small trees here? I wish. You know, close up of what it looks like. We're in this big bottom. And there's just tons and tons and tons of these little guys everywhere but i had a mushroom here somewhere where'd it go oh there it is right there what's up mr mushroom get that so all right way back out all right right there that's another nice nice little morale I'm look around pretty hard here just hoping that there's be more around here some more grown-up versions of them anyway here's another little fun fact for you guys that do your own mushroom picking and you know foraging and all that stuff but don't know um these are called ramps also called wild onions so what you do is you can you can uh dig down at the base of these here you know give it another week and a half two weeks around here anyway and the bulb will actually grow to almost the size of your thumb and they taste just like a wild onion and some of the best parts of it are this that is the uh the leaf itself and you can actually eat this okay mm-hmm Yeah. Hmm. All right, just walking down this uh walking down this trail here. And well, it's one of my favorite places to find morels actually. There's a down walking trails people never think about. Oh, there's another one. Thought there's one, there's two. I'll have to look around, there's probably more than that even. But oh little guy right there. Well, it's not I mean it's not just popping up, but there. And then right there's another one. Oh like that guy right there. Maybe a little looky loo. Oh, Another one. Another one. <laughs> just keep, look at that. I just passed by these guys. Look at that. Right there, boom. And right there, boom. That one there can stay there because he's just a little guy. So, anyway, we'll pick this guy here. Leave that really little guy. Here we go. Some more delicious morels. All right, just pick those morels right back there, and I'm walking, and just looking for the the dark tip sticking out here. And as you can see, again, there's another little guy right here. <sighs> pick that bugger off. There we go. Another one right on the tra trail. I'll call these trail morels. Because we're on the trails. Get down and look. Well, it's not a lot bigger, but bigger than what we've been finding. Right on this trail again. There we go. Dave picked that one out. I've been I've been looking right on the trail. Dave's been smart and looking off the trail.
you can tell you can see this was a burn area here a couple years ago too i heard i don't know i heard that that helps with with the growth process all right it's been a little bit since i found my last one here but just walking through the woods here i've found mushrooms here previously in years but it's been pretty non-existent Oh, look at this giant. All right, there is the bounty from today. There's how many think are there? 25? Probably 25, yeah. By 25. Um, those are the dark morels. We just we don't get the yellow ones up here, but the dark ones I believe have more flavor. I don't know. Maybe you know Dave. I have no idea. There's no idea. These are good anyway. <laughs> anyway, that is our find from the day, and now we're gonna go try to catch some fish. Uh, yeah. So anyway, hope you guys liked this in video. Um, we'll be back up mushroom picking here soon. So anyway, like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Thanks. Peace out.